this. Song that, this is the song that got me my first piece of hate mail. Not the only piece. The first piece. And the first song of mine that got played on Dr. Demento. I was just wondering, hypothetically, what would you do? Theoretically, if something should happen accidentally or medically, what if your girlfriend was gone? If she died in a fire from a broken light fixture or happened to swallow a poisonous mixture, would I find my way back into the picture if you were suddenly alone? <sighs> would you call me up? Would you write me a letter? Would you tie a message to your Irish setter? Try to get through so we could be together? What if your girlfriend was gone? stop right here because I can see you're all wondering why isn't this song a huge hit I too am baffled by this but I know you're also thinking Carla don't give up because the key to success in the music business and in life is persistence so just keep singing that song and don't ever change a word of it I really appreciate all that optimistic energy but I'm afraid you're too late I've already rewritten the whole song a parody of my own song. Yes. I only steal from the best. This is from when I lost a lot of weight. Uh, uh, a little too much weight, it is possible. I was sick and uh, had some kidney problems and lost a lot, a lot of muscle. And then I went on this diet, a real strict diet. No wheat, no dairy, no sugar, no chocolate, no caffeine, no reason to live. <laughs> I actually got too thin. I, I'm all better now. But for a brief window of time, I was too thin and wrote this. I was just wondering, hypothetically, what would you do? Theoretically, if something should happen accidentally or medically, what if your butt was gone? If sitting in a wooden chair felt like tax and you found you had nothing to hold up your slacks because instead of a butt, now you just had a crack, something would have to be done. Would you write Dear Abby for advice in a letter? Put a cushion in your chair to make it feel better. Try to fatten up with brie and cheddar. What if your butt was gone? Someone is singing along. I cannot believe this. <laughs> Only here. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> I would applaud, but I'm playing the guitar. I could just bang my head against them. No. <clears throat> That's Worm Quartet. Okay. Where was I? If your butt disappeared without a trace and everyone looked all over the place, why do you have that look on your face? Hey, it could happen to you. If that booty, patootie, that sweet derriere were now inexplicably no longer there, how soon would you miss it? How much would you care? What do you think you would do? Would you call me up? Would you fall to pieces? Would you make it the topic of your doctoral thesis? Try to go out and find a prosthesis. What if your butt was gone? They make them, you know. I saw one at Spencer's. It's where I get all my medical devices. A butt, as you know, could be curvy or flat, dimpled or pimpled, skinny or fat, just like an opinion. Everyone's got one. But what if your butt was suddenly not one? If something should happen, hypothetically, what would you do? Theoretically, if something should happen accidentally or medically, what if your butt was gone? Would you call me up? Would you start confiding how you tried to make it grow with fluorescent lighting? <laughs> how you had to give up horseback riding? What if your butt was gone? Would you realize there's a good selection? Shopping for clothes in the children's section. Go to your closet, make a commotion. Take on your pants and throw them in the ocean. Woo, the sing-along. Oh, the rest of the sing-along. Uh, does your butt hang low? Does it wobble to and fro? Can you tie it in a knot? Can you tie it in a bow? Can you sling it over your shoulder like a cotton nettle soldier? What if your butt was gone? 